to a wedding today, so I'm going to test my suit fits in today. Uh, it's all right, it was good enough, wasn't yeah, it? It was good enough. Yeah. Spirits had came back and, you know, he's, he's, he's got the injury, he'll be fine. I guess he'll get one to one. Are you thinking about changing personnel in the team for tomorrow? Possibly. Yeah, we've seen that all out this morning. We've all seen all good, all moving now, all felt okay. Yeah, it's professional. Any areas in particular that you feel need freshening up? Not really. Players on the pitch. Because we spoke about uh, Bobby Brady, for example, you talked about his fitness. Do you think he, he needs to start another game? Uh, well, all the players, I think they're all, you know, except that some of them have played uh, for three, four weeks, but they didn't look as though they had any ill effect, effects after when I saw it on uh, what night was that, Friday night. They were all still running hard at 94 minutes, so all of them, we'll have a look at them. You talked about the, the spirit in the camp, but it's a, it's a different sort of challenge being favourites at home and expected to win, isn't it? Of course it is, but that doesn't affect the spirit in the camp, the, the mood of the players and how they get on. And, uh, I think the spirit was evident, certainly when we equalised late on in the game against a very good side. You know that, anyway, I'm, I'm sort of telling you things you already know. It is different. They, uh, as we saw in Gibraltar, and we saw how uh, stubborn they were, and you know they've got the threat, of course, corners and free kicks. But for Darren Randolph, a magnificent save would have been one 0 down from a free kick, a corner kick. So we have to, we have to be careful. We, have to, we just said to them actually, look, I've loved me three weeks together with the lads. They've been brilliant. They've trained. Great. Everything's been good about it. But it will all count for nothing unless we win our home game today. You said Glenn was going to come back for certain games. Is this one you think he might be able to sit out? Well, you see it. We get a team sheet. You know, I start answering questions like that every week. Well, I'm going to strengthen what I'm going to do. You know, I'm not going to do that. I haven't, uh, I haven't informed the players yet of what, uh, what the team is. But there's no problem with that. We've been together for three weeks. So whatever I decide to do, they're all willing and able to play in the positions that they'll be playing in. James, can you describe the atmosphere in the camp now? I noticed that you were at uh, Breffney Park yesterday and some other players were at the Shamrock Rovers game, so you enjoyed a little bit of downtime? Yeah, I'm glad I asked the manager's permission before I went, or I'm sure he would have found out by now. Um, but no, it was, it, was, it was great to go, and thankfully the manager let, let me pop out for a couple of hours, and it was great to, to see Donegal win and, and play so well. How do you rate the chances now for the rest of the year? Uh, hopefully they can get that, that Ulster title again this year, and. Uh, and go from there. Um, but I thought they're very dangerous going forward. You know, uh, my own club man, uh, Owen Van Galler and Hugh McFadden did very well, and, and Ryan McHugh's a great player. So they've got good players all over the pitch, and, and hopefully they can beat them in the final. Now, turning your thoughts to, to Gibraltar, uh, that, that last game was probably a nightmare game in many respects, apart from the result for us. Yeah, it was one that you know we wanted to forget about as quick as possible. We 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 got the three points, which is what we wanted. I think everybody expected us to win by more, but you know, ask any of the players. That game was, was crazy. The wind was all over the place, and it was their first game at home as well, which made it more difficult. They were right up for it, so it was a tough night. And as the manager touched on, a great save from Daz to keep us in it, and you know we got out of there with three points and. You know, we've got to prepare the same again at international level. It's a cliche, but there's there's no easy games and we have to make sure that we're fully prepared and all three points tomorrow as well. I get a sense that the uh, game against Denmark, we played them so often and all that, but uh, people were very impressed with the, the way in which we went about our business and uh, obviously delighted with the result. Uh, do you think that would be reflected in the crowd? Do you, have, do you get a sense from being around the players yesterday that uh, the nation is taken to this team again? Ah, yeah, very much so, yeah, you know, walking, you know, the people of Donegal and even the people of Tyrone were, you know, were very proud of the team and, you know, thanked, thanked me to thank the lads for the result and they're, they're very happy to be, to see that goal go in and, and very proud and, you know, not, I'm not just saying that, you know, maybe 10 plus people had them words to say, so that's good to know that the, the country are behind us and uh, it's, it's great for the players to realise that as well and, and when, we're, when we're out there, you know, we do think of the fans as well. Thank you. James White, uh, just in terms of that, the last home game at the Viva in this campaign, there was a real sense of uh, the team trying to pass the ball a little bit more, certainly from what I saw, uh, and also against the, the bigger nations trying to press and get after them. In this game tomorrow, given that we should have more of the ball than Gibraltar, and if we try and press them properly, do you feel we can really put on a real football performance at home? 
Yeah, that's that's what we've been trying to do since since the managers come in. You've touched on it there yourself. You know, against Georgia, it was to press and first and and try and win the ball back as high up the pitch as we can, and then and then play from there. And at times we did that very well against Georgia. And then especially I think when we one 0 down against Denmark, we played some some really good football, so we're capable of it. And uh, we're playing at home in front of our own fans, so you know the, the result is the most important thing. But of course we want to get the ball down and put on a performance. Yeah. Is that something as a player that gives you guys more confidence if the manager and the coaching staff are asking you, one, to get on the ball and two, to get after the opposition high up? Because, you know, sometimes if you're playing against a team that's, you know, supposedly better than you, if you drop off, maybe you're already allowing them to play their natural game. Whereas if you go and press and, and try and get in the ball, it's, it's what you guys do to matter as opposed to overly focusing on the opposition. Yeah, I think, I think it's the best way to play, uh, try and win the ball back high up against good teams, you know, and even against De Denmark at times we try to do it. And there is going to be times where you get picked off with the likes of Ericsson playing balls around the corner. But me being a defender, if, uh, you know, we're trying to play from the back and teams are pressing, it's, it's, it's difficult. So that's not what you want. So if we can do that and win the ball back and, and play from there, then great. We saw at the last home game the tennis balls and all that stuff that went on. What would you say to the fans who are going to attend the game tomorrow? Hopefully it's a really good crowd and, and, and they lend their support as they did in that game too. But do you believe it could be an unbelievable place? You've played some great games over there over the years when the fans are, are massively behind the team. Yeah, look, as soon as them tennis balls were taken off the pitch, the atmosphere went through the roof again. So, uh, no question marks about the support we have, never have done. You know, even, you know, a after the Denmark game coming out through interviews, you could still hear our fans singing. So, we've got, as far as I'm concerned, the best support in the world, and they'll, they'll show that uh, at the Viva as well. And when they do, it's a hard place for any team to come. From your point of view, as the manager, you didn't have too much time between the last, uh, just before the last two games. But You've now had the camp in Portugal, you've, you've had time to, to work with the group, with the coaching staff on, on the pitch. How happy are you as to where the team is now in terms of how you want them to play, given you've had more time this camp? I'm delighted with the players. I thought they were, they were excellent against Georgia. And I thought they were very good the other night as well against a really good Denmark side. We didn't have as, uh, as many chances as we did against Georgia, but I didn't expect it playing against Denmark. I'm thrilled with them. I think they're a great bunch. And I said afterwards, whatever, whatever happens, nobody's going to have workers, nobody's going to have scrappers, nobody's going to have fighters. And then I think we've got that quality that we can add to that, which we've shown. So, no, I'm really pleased. What sort of things have you used the time to work on with them to shape them the way you, you want them to play? Playing football. All the things. All the things. Drawings, free kicks, drawing kicks. Passing the ball, passing more room. Midfielders getting in the box, good deliveries. I think we've covered most things, haven't we? Mm -hmm. you know, so, just playing football. And, and, you being, said, and being aggressive and being positive. Yeah, you said playing football, and also certainly the last home game, you looked to go and, and press the opposition on in, in saying the other night. And I asked Shane the same question about you giving the players the confidence to go and impose themselves on the game as opposed to, to sitting off and, and trying to soak the pressure. My teams have always played like that. Never, never tried to do anything else. Tried to, I said when I got the job that I wanted to have a team like the teams I played in. And actually, yeah, the teams that I managed before, 17, 18 years ago, that were aggressive, we got after teams, stop, tried to stop teams playing, and then we have the ball, we try and play. It's, there's nothing new to it, really. And just at the start overall, if we win on, on Monday, tomorrow, it's 10 points from four matches, that would be an almost perfect start to the campaign. But as you said after the game the other night, if we don't win, you're looking at maybe eight points or, or only seven. You've answered your own question. Absolutely. Uh, ten points. I, I told you I took a draw. We didn't go and settle for a draw. We weren't looking for that. In fact, in 94 minutes, we were the one that looked more likely to score in that game on uh, Friday night. Despite they've missed chances, I get that. But we weren't looking for a win. And we. We have to back that up with a win tomorrow, we're at home. They make a lot of positives from the game in Copenhagen, but in terms of improvement, where do you want to see the improvement? Uh, when we win the ball back, high up the pitch, doing better with it, keeping it, not giving it straight back to them, because we did on a lot of occasions, which I spoke about at half-time, I've spoke about since. You know, sometimes I don't know whether it's a rush to score a goal. You've just got to, it's that, it's, you go from that, Crash bang one mentality to get the ball back, which you've got to have that real aggressive. Then to, you know, pulse rate needs to come down a bit and calm down. 
and pass the ball to each other. So I thought we did the first bit really well, second bit not as well as I'd like. But, but they're playing against a team that they went closing the ball down as well. I think if you looked at the two stats in terms of how far and how hard and the sprints that both teams ran, it was a real competitive game now for You've had so little time. It, it, is there anything in today's training session that was geared towards that, or is it just you, you haven't got the time? Uh, the only thing that was geared towards it was the fact that we had the right height, which was to get more of the ball, move yourself, three touch, so you have to move the ball quickly. That was the first half. You'd probably gone when we just reverted to uh, all in and just a normal game. But uh, in, re in relation to the game tomorrow, no, nothing. Josh Cullen obviously is on the fringes, has yet to be captain of full international. Yeah. Is that part of your thinking at all tomorrow? Josh has been excellent and he's made a real uh, valid case to be to get a game. But then you could argue that uh, the midfield players have been as good as any part of the team. Certainly Glenn Whelan has and his player has been excellent. Connor scored the winner. Jeff's got the, uh, the winner that, uh, you know, so making a case for him is fine, but he's, he's, he's making a case for himself up against some really good players. He has, he's, I think he's impressed everybody, Seamus, hasn't he, Josh? Yeah, he's been, 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 been really very good. Different class. <laughs> what do you like about him, Seamus? He's, ju he's just very brave, you know, he wants he wants to get on the ball, uh, get get the ball taken over, he's winning the ball back and passing it forward. and. Uh, you know, he's been very impressive and uh, he's a great lad around the camp as well, but he's a, he's a very good player and I think you know, he can go back to West Ham and hopefully he can play there. He's obviously one of the younger boys. In terms of one of the more experienced men in the team, Shane Duffy, you've known him for several years. He just seems to be getting better and better. What is it about him, do you feel, that is, has improved in recent years? Yeah, he has been getting better, as you said. Um, he, he's, um, he's willing to learn all the time, even now. Like, he, if he if he plays well or, or he doesn't or if he makes some mistakes he, he's willing to to work on it learn on it he, he's he never for one minute does he think he's he's made it so that's what I like about him he keeps working hard and he's always had that but his his confidence on the pitch was there for everyone to see uh, against Denmark you know he took the ball out of the sky one time in the middle of the park and he done well until he gave the ball away then do you remember? Were you surprised? <laughs> I was surprised he took it out of the scatter, yeah. Fabulous. But then he, uh, he gave it back to them. But no, it's, you can just see he's playing with confidence. And when you get deliveries in the box like that, it, in both boxes, he's great. So um, mm -hmm. fingers crossed he can he can continue to improve. Mick, um, just looking there, uh, I suppose it was with the three game, with the three day turnaround, there's probably an expectation there. Um, and you sort of alluded to it yesterday that Alan George was in your thoughts for starting tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, so there's probably an expectation that there will be changes. Um, is this game, particularly Gibraltar at home, is it an opportunity for players to really put their hand up and stake a claim for the remainder of the, of the campaign? And I'm thinking specifically uh, in the goal scoring department. They should all have been sticking their hand up and staking a claim in training, which they have been doing for the last three weeks, to be quite honest. Uh, I, I just, I don't, I don't get the sense that there should be, you know, wholesale changes in lads that, when the lads have won two games and drawn one and played ever so well, I'm not, I'm not in the habit of saying, all right, we'll just scatter an approach and we'll give some of We've got to beat these, don't we? What I think is the best team on the pitch. And I know I've got adequate replacements for the for the ones good replacements, the ones we've been playing. But they've been excellent. And uh, George out there, sorry, George, uh, 